Come on, did anybody come here to bless his name this morning? Hallelujah. He's good to us, church. He's worthy of praise. Hallelujah. What a beautiful morning it is. It's cold, but it, the sun is shining. So it's a beautiful morning. I know people might be cold in here. Me and Pastor was talking about it. it's a little chilly in here, even though some people are taking off jackets. Listen, we're Pentecostal people. We move around. So I, I suggest if you're cold, start moving around a little bit, right? That's the best way I know how. I told Pastor, I said, you're just going to have to preach us to where we can stand and shout and jump a little bit. Uh, But we just want to thank you for showing up this morning. Thank you, visitors. If this is your first time, uh, we just want you to know, number one, that we've prayed for you to be here. And that this is not by accident that you're here. It's a divine moment that I believe that God's going to answer some needs this morning. He's going to answer your prayers. He's going to answer anything that you may have on your heart. And... uh, there is a connection card right in front of you in the pew in front of you, and we want you to fill it out. And here in a few moments, the uh, ushers are going to come out, and you're just going to drop it in there. It's just a way for us to get a hold, get a hold of you, contact with you, and, um, you know, just make you feel comfortable. And that's really, honestly, how me and my wife got involved in this church, filling out a connection card and someone just saying, hey, we're praying for you. We just want to connect you. We love you. And look, here we are. So... I suggest you do the same thing. We want to connect with you. And so here we are. A few moments, we're just going to cross aisles, shake hands, and welcome someone new this morning. God bless you. this morning look at your neighbor's smile say we're glad to see you in the house of God this morning hallelujah you may be seated thank you so much for joining us in this service this morning as pastor Chad said it is cold outside and we asked him to to uh, bump up the heat in here just a little bit but it's finally winter And if you'll hang around, that may change a little bit, but we're so glad that you're here. We want to welcome all of our guests and all of those that are joining us by way of live stream around the world this morning. We want to say thank you for being here. As Pastor Chad said, there is a connection card in the pew in front of you. And if you're visiting with us for the first or second time or so, we want you to fill out that card and drop it in the offering when it comes by here in just a few moments. Last week, we started an initiative that we are... Uh, that is new to our church this year and we are simply just calling it his hour and what it is what we are asking is that you would commit 
to working an hour of your week and dedicating that hour to God by way of helping us to pay off the debt of our church. And uh, I want to celebrate with you to this point, to this morning, we have $50,395 committed to his, to his hour of paying off debt. That is awesome. Now listen, this is something that every person in this room can be a part of. If you're on a fixed income or you're retired, you can figure out down to an amount that you would want to give. But if you make $10 an hour, why don't you consider giving an hour of your week to God? And I'm going to tell you that I believe, well, he already is, over $50,000 already committed to our debt. How many of you know you can eat away at debt pretty fast by doing that? And that's what we intend to do. In fact, in fact, in just a, just a little bit over a year, we have gone from owing $11 million to $1.9 million. And so by committing to this, I believe the Lord is going to bless that. And we want you to be a part. You can get a card there at the camera uh, here in the center and pick that up, fill that out, out and drop it at the um, Welcome Center. We would greatly appreciate that. Our ushers are coming forward this morning to receive our Sunday morning tithe and offerings. If you're a faithful, regular giver to this church, I want to say thank you. If you are not and you are indecisive or you're not a tither, I want to talk to you this morning. This is very, very simple. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, the Bible talks about blessings for obedience. And it also then closes the chapter in talking about curses for disobedience. So today, everybody say obedience. The way to the blessing of God in your life is through obeying. Malachi, the Bible said, bring. If I said to my child, or if I asked Richard, would you bring me that offering bag? I said, would you bring me the offering bag? So now he has a decision to make because I said, would you bring? But if I then said, bring me the offering bag, he now has no decision to make because it was a it was a command. In Malachi, the Bible said, bring the tithe into the storehouse of heaven. It's not an option, it is a command of God. That's already good preaching. And so in Deuteronomy chapter 28, here's what the Bible says. Everybody believe this is the infallible word of God. Everybody believe that this is the priority. There is no other authority above this Bible right here. Then you have to then believe what I'm about to tell you. You just answered your own question. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. If, everybody say if. If you obey fully the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commandments. Bring me the offering bag bring your tithe into the storehouse if you follow all his commandments I give you today the Lord your God will set you high above all nations on the earth and all these blessings will come upon you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God and so for the next several verses there the Lord spells out all of the blessing that will be poured out upon your life if you obey then we get down to verse 15 and he lists all of the blessings that will come upon you if you obey and then in verse 15 he now lists which by the way is almost two and a half pages of curses that come upon you when you disobey in verse 15 the scripture says however the Lord speaking it says however if you do not obey the Lord your God and do not carefully follow all of his commands and decrees that I'm giving you today, all these curses will come upon you and will overtake you. Today, it's the scripture that has the final say in our life. You can choose to walk in blessing today. You can choose to walk in the blessing of God today by obeying all of his commands or by your own choice today, you can choose to walk in the curses of God today. Guess what? Look at your neighbor and say, it's simply your choice. It's simply your choice. You are either blessed, everybody say blessed. 
I said, everybody say, blessed. You are either blessed or you are cursed. One or the other. Today, I don't know about you, but I am blessed. And I'm going to walk in the blessings of God. Come on. Come on, you don't get any assurance from government. You don't get any assurance from the bank. But you get assurance from the word of God. You are either blessed or you are cursed. Today, I choose the blessing of God. I hope you will too. Lord, thank you, Father, today. It's your word. It's not mine. It's your word. It's your guarantee. It's your blessing or it's your curses. It's our choice. Lord, we're blessed when there's good health in our family and and marriages work out and, and kids have great education and so on and so on. Things last longer than they should. But the opposite is walking in disobedience. And Lord, today, I choose not to walk in disobedience. Thank you for your word, for it has the final say so. Bless everything done in this room today and we'll be sure to give you all the praise and all the glory. And everybody said, God bless you as you give. Would you stand and worship with us?
aren't you glad today that he's faithful? Well, has anybody ever found him to be faithful? Maybe that should be the question. Has he been faithful to you this morning? You're able to say, great is thy faithfulness. Lord, thank you today that you are faithful. God, even though when we may not be at times, thank you, Lord, that you remain faithful today, Lord. Thank you this morning, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, Lord, for great health. Thank you for a warm, dry place to sleep last night. Thank you for your protecting hand this morning, God. We'll be sure to give you all the praise and all the glory. And everybody said, would you give the Lord a hand clap of praise as you're being seated?